Yo, what up? It's your boy C's from the CsLife.com. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about mindset and success. Uh, I've been doing a lot of journaling, as I mentioned, um, in Costa Rica, and one of those came out pretty good. You know, it was a way for me to understand my new model of reality a little bit better and share it and explain it to you guys even better, right? So uh, we're gonna deep, dive deep in this little concept here. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, yeah, let me know. I'm gonna go straight into it. So Earl Nightingale, love that dude. He defines success as a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. I also love that definition. But for some time, I was just thinking like, what is this? How do you realize a how do you progressively realize a worthy ideal? Then I just started breaking it down. How do you progressive? Then progressive means progress, right? Progress is to move forward. And then your ideal is your idea that you imagined, right? So I was doing that. And you know, the logical mind, the logical side of your brain, you want to make sense of it, right? And I just kept on going over and over repetition also is key. And through this journey, it, it uh, led me down this path to discover this model. All right. So this is a model that I'll be working with in order for me to realize my ideal. Now you can do the same, but I advise that you come up with your own conclusion. This is my model sharing with you guys. This is not the definite, but it is something that lied in the path of my journey, I came across it and I'm like, gotta share it with the peeps, right? Anyway, so in order to get, so we define that success is a progressive realization to a worthy ideal, right? In order to move forward, you need to go on something called a journey, right? Now the journey, I was thinking, okay, how do you go on a journey? Like, what do you need to go on a journey, right? And I was like, oh, you need a vessel, you need a captain and you need a passenger. So I was like, okay, easy, awesome. It wasn't easy, but it led me to this right here, which is um, the ship, if we're using a boat, boating analogy, like the ship is your body, the body is the vessel. Your captain is your mind, that is the captain of the ship who steers the ship to X, which is your um, ideal basically, this is your goal. And I put X there because you're the only one that can define that goal. You are the commander, you know what that goal is, you're the only one responsible to getting you, the vessel, to that destination. And then the passenger, you, the being, the soul, you live on three planes of understanding, body, mind, and soul. They all move in unison to get you to X, right? So I was like, okay, so I got this. I got the vessel. I got the goal. How do I get there now, right? This is where the journey starts. In order for you to go on a journey, you need fuel, right? You need something called energy. Energy just is. Energy is constantly flowing to and through you. It depends on what you're doing with that energy is what's going to get you the result, right? Now, you can organize that energy and push you towards that destination, or you could just like go through life wondering why things are happening, right? So I'm like, okay, how do I take this energy, harness it, and steer me into this direction? And this is where I came up, how to reprogram your subconscious mind. It's like the fantasy, the theory, and the fact. Right? So um, let's use the, the boating analogy. I'm gonna draw a boat here. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna draw these little propellers. Boom, boom, and boom. So F, T, F. And then here is the boat. And then energy. So energy is flowing to and through you. So how do you organize the energy? Energy. Um, you organize the energy by the, uh, setting the goal, the target, right? And then feeding it, right? It needs momentum to con constantly push you forward. So here comes the fantasy aspect, right? Fantasy also like faith is believing in the unseen, right? Like you have a fantasy of you being a rock star, for instance, you're rocking on stage. 
you start describing this stage like vivid details. If you're a musician, musician and you're inspired to be a, a rock star, you want to be on stage and visualize your, your being on stage. So let's say destination is you rocking out a solo um, a solo performance in front of 20,000 people. That is your fantasy, right? And you're making X millions of dollars once you get there. So you want to fantasize, dream, imagine, use your imagination to paint this picture. Once this picture is painted, what's going to happen is it's going to spit out a theory. It's going to develop a theory on how you can get to that stage, right? So fantasy spits out or give birth to the theory, right? Now, once, you're, once you have the theory, this is where the power comes in. You can act on the theory. Now, once you act on that theory, it's going to spit out a fact. It's not going to give you all the pieces to the puzzle together. It's just going to give you a fact, which is going to... Wait, so hold on. So as you take action on your theory, it's going to spit out a fact. So the fact is what's going to lead you all the way down to that, uh, to that destination, right? <clears throat> Hold on. Arms getting a little heavy here. All right. So once you get, once you take action, it spits out the fact, that fact is going to go to the source in which that theory originated, which is going to go back to the fantasy, right? And that fact is going to further root the fantasy because that's where the thought originated. So it's going to be like, oh, I got that from the fantasy. So let me go back to fantasy and gather some more building materials. Once you do gather more building materials, it's going to give you another theory. And then it's going to give you another fact than fantasy. So you see the propeller, how it's moving, it's spinning. Then it's going to push you forward, right? Once you're pushed forward, that fantasy is going to lead to a fact. And for every fact, it leads to another fact. So fantasy theory, fact. 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 Until you land your worthy ideal. Now, I can go super deep into how to originate this fantasy, but take this framework and work it within your model of reality and you'll see amazing results. Because as you draw upon that fantasy, the theory is going to be right behind it. You're going to be like, oh, if I was to really do this, I would do it like this. Then you do it like that. Take action. Then gives you the fact that you did it. So once you get there, you see how you got there. But you can only connect the dots looking backwards because the path to your ideal is a series of facts that have to line up. And in order to get those facts to line up, you have to constantly get it moving. And to get it moving, it has to go into this cycle. Fantasy, theory, fact. Fantasy, theory, fact. Like the boat's propeller, propelling faster. And as you go forward, as it's pushing you forward, you land in your ideal. Now, we could talk about how to prepare the vessel for this journey, and that's going to be feeding your mind and all of that. But that's a story for another day, all right? My battery is wasting, so I'll holler back in the next video. Peace.